from this thing called Assimilate, which is doing this really cool stuff, and you need to pay attention to this if you're going to do this. And I said, so there, there was a little vodka involved. No, there, was, there, was that. <laughs> there was some things, there were some, some, some moments involved. But let's put it this way. You know, everybody at some point wants to kind of latch their, their star to the early adopter tag, right? They're the first to do this. And they were the early adopter. And they were the ones to pay attention when it was really the risk, right? And there was nothing really to latch onto other than the dream and the belief something might happen. But the Assimilate guys are really the real early adopter. I mean, they are the ones that believed because Mark convinced them, and then when I started becoming friends with them. So it's, uh, I gave a talk earlier at AJA um, that I used to work for, and I mentioned sort of beyond the technology and beyond what they're doing, uh, moving the ball forward in terms of technology, to me more importantly is that there's a spirit to the company that moves through every single product, and I believe it's the exact same with Assimilate. There's, there's definitely some logic for why you kind of make the picks and you stay with the picks that you like. Um, and Assimilate is absolutely one of those companies. So I know you guys are all involved with Assimilate in some fashion. You sell it, you work with it, your clients, your... So they deserve a, a huge hand for thinking about and taking the risks with us, and it paid off in a big way. So thank you for that. Watching every five minutes some new crazy feature that they come up with that is mind-blowingly good is just crazy impressive. And just like Mark, the very first meeting I had with the gang from Assimilate, I said, this is awesome. When can you put it on a Mac? Because you know, I never run a PC. I don't know how to run a PC. It's like this crazy foreign thing to me. And I said, everybody in our industry that I know primarily uses Macintoshes for their editorial and, and for their lifestyle things that they touch day in and day out, right? So I said, if you get this on the platform that everybody likes and uses, then you're going to find some new traction in places that you don't even know exist yet. You're going to get a brand new customer base. So today, we've known about it for a little while, and today it's real, and Mark's got to reveal it, and that's all exciting for us. We've been bothering them for five years now, so here it is. So, Nacho, Jeff, and the whole gang, thank you for making it real. Thank you. I can't wait to run it on my laptop. Thank you. <laughs> Um, I, I did bring the camera. It's awfully dark in here. Anybody not have not seen this yet? Put your hand up if you haven't seen one. All right, so maybe I don't even need to, to show it. I will turn it on if you want to see. I'll it boots up if you uh, if you uh, if you know the the red one sort of drama of, of the boot up time, which I, I call the, the the coffee break time. When you boot up a red, it's the best time to take a coffee break. But now it's already running there. You can see it's live and running and working. Um, this actually has one of the new Leica prime lenses on it, which is the most, one of the most amazing pieces of glass I've ever seen. But there it is, that's the whole thing. This is the highest resolution, most advanced digital cinematography camera on the planet today, bar none. Don't, whatever, whatever kind of strange press release you may be seeing and hearing about um, other companies doing some things in the space, good on them. We look forward to some real competition, but it ain't there yet. This is real, it's out there shooting, it's working on The Hobbit right now, it's working on a huge super action movie with a guy dressed up like a, a spider. <laughs> you know what it is. Uh, it's working on Ridley Scott's new movie, it's working on Brian Singer's new movie, it's working on about six other gigantic feature films, and at the same time, just wrapped Mark's little 3D indie movie, Hellbenders. Um, so it's all over doing all kinds of stuff. Uh, that's really all I came to say is, Thanks for Assimilate being Assimilate, for being bold, taking the risks. Um, we love this software. Oh, and I guess I can show you some stuff if you want before I leave. Um, if, you, uh, if you go to that footage that I loaded, about three or four days ago, right before NAB, I got a chance. I talked to the guys uh, at a company called Picture Vision that have this super advanced gyroscopic uh, ball for flying cameras and helicopters. and. Um, they, uh, they let us go up in, uh, with the world's best aerial pilot that shoots basically every big movie, every big aerial you've ever seen, this guy shoots it, one of the best aerial DPs in the world, and I got to sit there with him and fly around and shoot some stuff. So it's all on there, a couple of clips on there, Nacho, if you want to find them. This is, this is just some, some raw pieces 
that I loaded on just by, it's literally we just loaded it on right from my uh, this little you know, firewire drive there. And you know, you guys probably have heard some sort of crazy nonsense about how wonderful the red camera is to make pictures, but some people sort of complain about, oh, but the workflow is really complex and, and, and hard to do. And, well, th this is the workflow, right? This is the super hard workflow. I walked over from the hardest part of the workflow was getting from the North Hall of the Convention Center to here, okay? But once I got here, I gave it in the drive, we loaded it up, we hooked up the files, it's playing on the map right out of scratch instantaneously. That's just the camera look. He can grade it to his heart's content. And trust me, if you don't fly in a helicopter, you don't want to do what I did because this was pretty insane stuff. Um, but it was a ton of fun, and uh, you may get a chance to see some of this in 4K pretty soon. Um, but there it all is. There's a couple other shots I think we loaded up, right? So you can look and stuff. There's, we're just, just flying around LA in super smooth, you know, the glory of 5K. And that's in a ball with an Ingenue 24 to 290 and just cruising around the city. And that's ungraded, so we would obviously make that sky really like warm and sexy. You don't need time, come on. Open up the balls and do it, come on. Impress us all. Look, there you go, done. A little more, a little more saturation, you got it. Yeah. There you go, beautiful. So that's it, right? That's the workflow. Shoot the Epic, walk it over, give it to Methune, plug it into the Mac, boom, there it is. No rendering, no problem. It's running the red rocket. That's the On a Mac. Part. On, On a Mac. Mac. <laughs> so that's all I got. We're off dinner. We'll see you having tequila in a little while. And uh, tomorrow at the Red Booth South Hall, come over whenever you'd like. We've got all kinds of surprises and some fun. <laughs> we got some 3D, we got some 4K, we got all kinds of cool stuff. So thank you. Thank you.